This teen engagement initiative is very important for the museum, but it's also important for the Valley. These teenagers are really a group that we focused on because the museum has not been able to get them terribly engaged. And so here they are, and they are actually activating the museum in their own light, taking ownership of it, and they're actually inviting other teenagers to come and preparing programs for them. The other thing that these teenagers really love is that since they come from all over the greater Phoenix area, they actually get to meet each other and people that perhaps they would never have an opportunity to meet. So it's also community building in a larger sense. It's so important for us, it's so important for the teenagers, and it's very important for the city of Phoenix. So the Thunderbirds go out, we work really hard. We play hard, but we work harder during the course of the year, and we raise a lot of money. And it's exciting to be able to branch out within the Thunderbird group and to do stuff that's in some form of education, certainly arts things, and this is a natural place for that. Well, it's great to see uh, these young kids, they're about to uh, swarm in here. We, we got to meet their leaders, the team council, and uh, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out ways to stay relevant to the entire demographic uh, blend of this valley, and it's a young, young state, it's a young city, and we're trying to figure out how to be relevant to millennials. These guys are pre-millennials, and a program like this does that. It, it allows them to do kind of their own thing. Well, there's supervision, but it, there's also incredible ways for them to learn how to organize things, how to be part of a group, how to lead within the group. The museum, through the Thunderbirds, is helping uh, these kids put together portfolios that they can use, resumes that they can use to get into good schools, things uh, if some of them, I think, this is their first job, and that's amazing. Seeing the benefactors of the funds that are generated in the Waste Management Phoenix Open is, is very heartwarming. It kind of puts some context around what we're out there doing and, and working so hard to, to make sure that the event is a success. We're again so fortunate to have all of this, the community support and corporate support, but to really see where, where the funds are directed and how they are truly benefiting uh, the youth of this community and the uh, not-for-profit entities and, and you know it's such an iconic part of that being the Phoenix Art Museum it's so you know it's very heartwarming to see that that circle happen. It's very very cool to see what what's going on here it's really fun that it's that it's uh, an art museum uh, thing that we cooked up here and it's really amazing that the Thunderbirds are the lead sponsors behind all of this. We are so grateful to Thunderbird Charities because they actually were willing to take a risk on this program. This is a pilot. We didn't really know how it was going to go, but they had so much faith in the museum, but also even more importantly, in the teenagers to actually make something important, engage their own social group, and make an impact locally. So their support has been absolutely cataclysmic for this Teen Art Council.